Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. We are now using the move instruction to move the data in groups. For example, you can see a program here. When we turn on X6, it will move X0, X1, X2, and X3. Four values. K1 represents four values. Two, and when we turn it on, it will ultimately turn on the destination values using K1, which is uh, represents four values. That is Y0, Y1, Y2, Y3, and Y4. No Y0, but it will start from Y1, Y2, Y3, and Y4. These are the values that will be turned on with a single this input x6 <clears throat> in the similar way when you we use k2 it represents the eight values for example x7 is turned on k2 represents eight values starting from x0 x1 x2 up to x7 these values when k2 is written in this form in the multiplication of x0 it will take the values from x0 to x7 x0 x1 x2 x3 x4 5 6 7 and in correspondingly it will turn on the values in y1 y2 y3 y4 y5 y6 y7 and y y 11 y 10 it it it, it goes in the um, octa octal form so after y 7 it will turn on there is no y 8 and 9 there is a y 10 it will turn on y 10 how we can do this first of all we need to take a click a, a quick glance on its theory the, <coughs> the previous section we showed how you can use the move instruction to write constant or the contents of the data registers to other data registers consecutively sequences of relays and other bits devices can also be used to store numerical values and you can copy them as groups with applied instruction to do this you prefixing a k factor to the address of the first bit device specifying the number of devices you want to copy with the operation here is the operation when you use k1 it will take four devices when you use k2 bit devices are counted in groups of four so the k factor specifies the number of these groups of four k1 equal to four devices k2 equal to eight devices k3 equal to 12 devices and so on for example k K2 M0 specifies the 8 relays from M0 to M7. The supported range is the support range is K1 4 devices to K8 32 devices. Example, you can see here K1 X0. It means that K1 is selected. It will take 4 input from K1. It will take from a 4 input from X0 to X3. 4 input starts at X0, X0 to X3, X2, X4, K2, X4. 8 input starting at X4, X4 to X13. Octal notation. It will go in the octal notation octal numbers k4 m16 it will take 16 relays or 16 inputs as it is uh, written in the form of relay m16 so it will take 16 relays starting at 16 m16 to m31 k3 y0 12 outputs start at y0 y0 to y13 octal notation in octal numbers and when we write k8 m0 32 relays start at m0 m0 to m31 <coughs> addressing multiple bit devices with a single instruction makes the programming quicker and produces more compact programs programs. The following two examples both transfer the signal states of the relays M0 to M4 to outputs Y10 to Y14. <coughs> this is an instruction written in M move D0 k2 m0 <coughs> as we know that d0 is a 16 bit register here is 16 bit register it will move to k2 means 8 values it will move 8 values to starting from it will turn it will these values the 16 values will be transferred to m0 m1 m2 m3 up to m7 m0 to m7 the other values which are present will be changed there, there will be discarded these relays will not be changed because we know that k2 is used to select the eight numbers so these eight numbers eight values eight values will be transferred to these eight relays similarly m move k2 m0 d1 here you can see that m0 which contains the eight numbers k2 is used to move eight numbers so it will move eight number of relays 0 m0 to m7 to d1 d1 is 16 bit so this is the register but it this values will be written in this form up to m7 yeah bit number bit number eight one two three four five six one two three four five six and seven and up to this number this is m7 and up to this number these values will be transferred and the other values will not be changed here is a quick example we use a relay m a special relay m8000 which is used to set when the plc is turned on it will turn to set one value move k1 m0 k1 y10 it means that it will move using k1 which are four number in relays so m0 m1 m2 m3 relays m0 m1 m2 m3 relays will be selected and ultimately k1 is using the, the four output will be turned on from y10 y10 y11 y12 and y13 if the destination range is smaller than the source range the access bits are simply ignored as we have discussed earlier the access bit will be ignored this is the destination and this is the source the top example 
if the destination is larger than the source the written, uh, zero, 0 is written to the access devices note that when the this happens the result is always positive because bit 1515 is interpreted as the sign bit here in the example these eight values will be transferred but the destination is larger than eight values the, it contains 16 values so the other values will be filled with the zero so these are very important things to be noted in the case of group moving we can also examine this on the plc for example this is a program i will turn on uh, or write this program to plc execute yes 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 going to the monitor mode we'll check out these values we have not turned on you can also see on the trainer you can when we turn on x6 x6 it turned on it will turn on the inputs from x0 to x3 and it will turn on ultimately y1 to y2 3 and 4 if we if you turn on turn off one of the inputs that is i am offing here x1 it really will be reduced to 13 if i turn off x0 14 turn off x1 13 x2 11 and x3 it will turn to 7 because this number goes in the octal form in the similar case is x7 when we turn on x7 the, all the inputs from x0 to x7 will be turned on in this video the maximum range with the 8 inputs is 255 you can see that 255 number is showing here and we turn off if x0 it will be reduced a similar way in the octal numbers so you can see that this is going in the in this form so it's very important to learn thank you so much for watching this video